Hello, my name is Sophia Lang, and this is my project, Blinded by Science, a study of plant blindness in children. The purpose of this project is to determine if children are less aware of plants and their unique characteristics and usefulness to our own environment than they are of animals. 90 children between the ages of 9 and 14 years of age were given a written test that included identification of photos of common plants and animals and true or false questions about plants and animals. Data collected showed that more children could correctly identify the photos of animals than plants. Data also showed that many children did not understand the importance of plants to the environment and the usefulness of plants in the society. This study brings awareness of a need to better educate children on the importance of plants to the environment as plants help clean the air and water as well as provide oxygen and food for animals. It also brings awareness of a need to educate children on the importance of plants to society as they provide food, shelter, clothing, medicines, and personal care items such as toothpaste and soaps. Plants are not only useful, but they are also beautiful. To remain blind to their benefits would truly be a significant loss. My question was, are children between the ages of 9 and 14 more plant blind than animal blind? My hypothesis was, if a test for plant blindness and animal blindness was given to children between the ages of 9 and 14, then 85% or more of the children will be more plant blind than animal blind because their learning and living environment are more animal focused and because they can empathize more with animals as living creatures than plants. Plant blindness was first defined by botanists James Wondersee and Elizabeth Schuschler as the inability to see or notice plants in one's own environment, which leads to the inability to recognize the importance of plants in the biosphere and in human affairs. Plant blindness can also include failing to appreciate the unique biological features of plants and ranking plants as less important than animals. There are several reasons that children are plant blind. Plants tend to be similar in color to each other and do not move on their own. A child may group plants together as one category instead of identifying their own unique aspects. In contrast, a farm animal may capture the attention of a child more than an inanimate plant or tree. Another reason children tend to be plant blind is that people spend an increasing amount of time indoors in front of electronic screens instead of spending time outdoors. A third reason is that products such as children's toys, books, TV shows, and room decor are more likely to feature animals from farms, jungles, oceans, and grasslands than to emphasize plants from the same habitats. Research shows that if a child views a photo of an animal in the jungle, they will most likely be more fascinated and be able to identify the animal, but not the trees and plants surrounding it. Most people do not understand and appreciate plants, which can lead to neglect and failing to realize the usefulness of plants for our everyday lives. Increasing a child's ability to identify plants will help in several ways. It can help children appreciate different kinds of plants and gain interest in growing a variety of plants. It can help children realize the usefulness and need of plants in our everyday lives for food, clothing, and other products. It can help children understand the benefits of plants to our own environment. It can help children understand the usefulness of plants to fight sickness and disease. Here is a summary of my procedure. First, study plant blindness and what children can typically identify. Two, identify an appropriate age range to test. I chose an age of students that would know how to read and test independently and that had not yet reached high school level of science. Third, Create plant and animal blindness tests using pictures and written questions. I chose photos of common plants from Missouri and photos of common animals popular in children's books for students to identify. I also asked true or false questions related to the importance of plants and animals to each other and to our environment. Four, choose schools and students that have similar demographics. Five. Contact teachers and parents to ask permission to administer tests to their classes. Six, administer the test to students. Seven, grade tests and gather data. Eight, score test questions and assign value on plant 
blindness scale and an animal blindness scale. The results supported the hypothesis in that more students were plant blind than animal blind. However, the hypothesis was not supported in that a smaller percentage of students were plant blind than the hypothesis surmised. The total number of plant blind students was 83. The total number of animal blind students was 6. One student was neither plant blind nor animal blind. 64.9% of all the students tested were plant blind, compared to 35.1% of students that were animal blind. Results showed that 66% of 7th graders were plant blind and 64.4% of 4th graders were plant blind. The data was collected from 90 students' tests. This study shows that more students were plant blind than animal blind. This could indicate a lack of information concerning plants in children's educational material and curriculum. It was surprising that, that the percentage of 7th graders that were plant blind was nearly the same as the percentage of 4th graders. This implies that opportunities for continued or advanced learning about plants may not be effective. This research also warns us that children's knowledge about plants could be lacking as a result of the increase of video game systems, electronics, and social media. These products tend to keep children inside. This research also expresses a need for creating more opportunities for students to realize the importance of plants to them personally and to our environment. If this study were to be done again, the number of plant blindness questions should equal the number of animal blindness questions. It might also improve the reliability of results to test children in the same school district. If children would realize the amazing usefulness of plants in our everyday lives and the products produced with them, toothpaste, clothes, coffee, money, paper, food, tea, shampoo, and medicine, just to name a few, they might be more excited and become more aware of the specific plants around them.